What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we are going to be playing some Penny on my favorite mode and my favorite map, Siege Bot Drop. What's going on guys? So as you can see, I have a 778 pe uh, Penny, Tomo has his 761 Pam, almost first in the world, and Yump is rocking the 846 Brock. Now I've tried recording twice already and both times something happened to do, something happened with my phone storage, I tried fixing it but there, it didn't work again, so I kind of took a break from recording, I just played. Now let me show you guys my battle logs. Now we've been running the same comp all day, and as you can see, Victory, 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 and we have not stopped playing, and it dates back to 2 hours and 55 minutes ago. And that's where it stops. We've actually been playing longer. We're probably on something like a 45-game win streak at this point, and I'm hoping I didn't jinx it, but we've been basically unstoppable, and this comp is going to help you guys also be unstoppable just like us. So let's get into the first game. I'm going to do a bit of explaining, and hopefully you guys are going to be able to pick up the skills and know what to do in order to go on huge win streaks like this. Let's get into it. So here we go guys, into the first game. We're going to be facing Jigsaw, I'm Skyrise, and Tony. Now they're definitely a very good team. We beat them like two games ago. Anyway, so Penny is going to be the lane. I'm going to be showing you guys the Penny perspective on how to play lane, uh, Penny. So basically what you guys want to do is just grab lane and make sure you don't lose your lane. Now we're definitely facing some good players. These players, two of them are actually contracted players. One of them is probably about to be contracted. So the team is definitely very strong. I might have honestly jinxed it with jinxed a win streak with my intro, but let's see how this goes. We're down two nothing right now. We have not lost the lane though. We're gonna see if we can pick this up. We're gonna play a little bit aggressive because he's gonna get that super off. We're gonna go right over here. We're gonna tap him. Yump's gonna tap him. Good teamwork over there. Yump's gonna be able to pick that up. Oh, Yump's gonna go down actually to Skyrise. Let's see if we can get him go shot. Oh my god, we weren't able to get the shot off. So they do have a level 3 siege robot. Now Pam, Penny Lane is, in my opinion, the best lane on this map at least. Just because she is so dominant with her super. Her super holds people back literally alone. It's absolutely unreal. It's so hard to beat. Anyways, we also have a Brock and a Pam. Now the Pam is here more for middle control and for defense. And the Brock breaks walls on offense. That's basically our team comp in what does what. But anyways, we're going to go in over here. We've been holding our lane. We haven't gone down yet, but our teammates definitely have struggled a little bit. Let's go over here and three tap that Leon. Our teammates are definitely struggling with holding lane. Hope, luckily, they were able to get that kill and they weren't able to cash in that bolt. We're going to move up our turret a little bit more aggressively just because we want them. To, we wanted to also help out our teammates. We're going to keep Skyrise generally low. I'm going to go over here and see if we can double auto aim him. Don't want to charge a super too much. He did get it though. We are up seven to three, so we are going to get this next bot. We did see him go sneak. We know he's over there. We don't know where he is right now. He's probably healing up. Oh, he went for Yump actually. That was a really good move because now Yump is unable to break the walls, which is a key part of our offense. Just going to back up over here. Kind of focus Tony just because we're not going to do too much damage because we weren't able to break that wall up where the uh, where the safe is or where the Ike is. Sorry. So we aren't able to do too much damage, so it's probably better just to maintain control. Now here's Skyrise. We were able to kill Skyrise again. We're like 5-0 at this point. We're definitely dominating. Penny is really good, as I've said before. We actually haven't gotten too much work from the turret so far this game, but usually, as I say that, the turret hits a shot. Usually the turret is really, really strong and helps win a lot of lanes. Anyways, it is a close game. Both teams have actually gotten robots, and there's been 4% done so far. So that's how you can tell... The coordinates of the teams, like how good they are at defense. Like this is a very strong, very tough matchup for both teams. Anyways, we're going to move up, go against Skyrise again. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up another kill. Looks like we're going to be able to. And there we go, we got Skyrise. Now we have Yump and his super. We're going to get my turret set up over there. I'm going to go for Jigsaw and see if we can get another turret. Yump did a little bit of hiding. I don't know why he's taking so long, to be honest. To put that back here oh my god he didn't break it again that's unreal that could honestly be a throw right there because two times yump didn't break it on offense and now we have to maintain control wow <laughs> we got the snipe shot with the turret oh skyrise might finally be able to kill us and he is actually finally able to kill us he did get a super back too 
Hopefully Yump doesn't go down. If he does, I think it's going to be really tough for us to win. Oh my god. My penny turret actually sniped, uh, sniped him from across the map. That's unreal. We were able to see it from the kill feed, and we also got our supercharge. This is obviously a big bolt to pick up. We're going to be able to get it. This has been some pretty easy domination. Well, not easy, but some pretty big domination against a really strong team. We get Skyrise again. No, he's actually going to get us. Good kill by Skyrise. But anyways, that ensures the win for us because they're not going to be able to do that much damage in compared to us, as well as the fact that we have a big robot coming at them. So that's more or less a GG for them. Nothing they can do at this point. We're just going to have a little pity attack over here. Not do too much. And yeah, that is going to be a GG. That was a really well orchestrated game. We had the middle on lockdown the entire time. They did 0%. A very strong team did 0% of us. And we should definitely be proud. Now that's the first game. That was some really good domination with the penny. I'm assuming we get star. We definitely do get star. And uh, yeah, let's hop into the second game and try and keep dominating. So here we go guys into the second game we're gonna be facing a brock a penny but instead of the pam they're gonna have a bull now this is gonna be a major disadvantage for the other team just because obviously in a wide open map like this penny dominates over bull now we did get the big tap right there i didn't even realize how low we were <laughs> i wasn't really focusing on the damage and uh how much health we had but we definitely did get the big tap over there we're gonna focus up a little bit more now we're gonna see if we can hit the penny like this where did that penny go? Sneaky little guy. Oh, auto aim didn't work. Thank auto aim. All right, so it's three to one advantage for us. It's going to be three to two. We're going to get the first siege robot. Now, usually we do get all five, but just getting three is fine. I did go down. That was definitely my fault. Definitely should stay cognizant and stay aware. Yeah, being able to get that turret. I'm going to hit it real quick. Looks like we're not going to be able to break the wall though. Oh. Good charge by the bull. That's actually going to do 20% to our siege robot. There we go. Oh, oh god. So hopefully Yump is going to break this. It looks like he's going to go in. He is going to be able to break it. Yump's going to go down to the penny shots. I'm going to shoot the save. So we did do, we did 33%. That's not too bad. Not too great for a first push, but obviously not bad at all. I think we're going to go down over there. We are. It looks like it's about to be three to two for them, so we're definitely gonna have to go up and do like a kind of, kind of just sustained control of the middle. I'm actually kind of shocked that the game is this close, for, like especially since they have a bull. Bull isn't really that meta over here in this map, so it's actually kind of shocking. It looks like we are gonna be able. Oh, no one picked this up. Wow. All right, we're fine. So we are actually gonna be able to pick this up. We're gonna hit the second push, and it looks like we're gonna be able to win the game. Looks like we're gonna be able to actually win the game. With this push, I would be surprised if we didn't. If we didn't, it's probably just going to be the bull Loki carrying. Oh my god, how is I not behind the wall? So we're going to put this over here. It's going to get some shots off on the safe or at somebody. We're just going to spam the middle. Not really aiming at anything in specific, just spamming the middle. We Loki just got a double kill and we just ended the safe right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of the second game. So here we go into the third game here. So we're going to be facing Korai, Mini Marley, and Sword. Now this guy, these guys are definitely a good team, so this is definitely going to put our wins in jeopardy. Oh my god. Oh no. Yump, what are you doing? Yump's going to murk our win streak. Jeez, so we did get tapped by Corey. Looks like they have a one nothing advantage right now. Going to back up. Sorry if I'm not going to talk too much. Like, I'm obviously going to give some commentary, but it's not going to be as lively as usual just because you know gotta focus this game don't want to lose that win streak that we have right now we are going to be able to get this so it looks like it's going to be 2-2 two -two, unless they just picked up one i'm not sure oh yeah i'm probably standing behind me we are able to get korai over there it looks like there's gonna be no siege but no siege robots oh that was tough to get out i don't know why it's gonna move the turret over here Looks like Yump is going to be able to pick one up. I'm going to bait Corey into shooting. I'm going to do a little bit of bait. He wants us to go, obviously, on the other side of that turret. I'm going to go up here just because we got teammates coming from the bottom. We were able to kill Corey. 
nice lane win over there. Get a tap Mini Marley or at least try to. So far we do have the lead. Gonna go over here. Gonna pick this up. Oh, we got hit a lot there. We're just gonna try and heal up since we have a power up. Or a bolt, not a power up, sorry. Ready to collect another one. We're definitely out laning the opposing penny so far. We were able to get Mini Marley there. We do have the Siege Robot with 11. This has definitely been tough so far just because we're facing another really good player. We were able to get the kill over there though. I think we're up now 2-1 when it comes to the lane wins. Yeah, I'm just going to get a nice tap over there. We're going to be able to get Mini Marley. Yeah, I'm just going to break this and that might just be enough damage to be able to one push. Let's see. Let's get one more shot. No. All right, so we are really close. Hopefully we can just go in and destroy them. Uh, they are going to get a big push off, so hopefully we can just kind of just walk in and tap them. But anyways, we're going to move back over here. We're going to drop our turret. Let's see, Mini Marley is over there. We're just going to take out the healing station for Mini Marley there, Pam. Not really going to go for the safe. I do want to go for the safe. I don't want to have the chance of them pushing on us and getting it. We were able to get two shots off, so that leaves it at 6%. Now we're going to have to defend this robot. Now this is definitely going to be super tough. I really didn't want to defend against this robot because that's definitely going to be super hard. Let's see what can happen. I'm going to target Sword right now. Just because it's the not really the main robot that does too much damage, but the people behind it. Now we were able to have them focus on us for long enough for them not to do too much damage. That's probably going to be good enough to win the game. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so it's only 6%. There's one siege push left. We'd give that auto aim. Korai is one shot. So are we at the moment. I think we're going to be able to get him with Yump. Oh my god, me and Yump both missed him. Wow. Turret. Ooh, the turret came in with that hit. Oh, Mini Marley with a huge mistake putting that Pam turret in, ahead of him. Oh, we were going to shoot that turret, actually. I think Yump can just walk in and tap it. I don't know why he's not right now. Should definitely be doing that, though. Oh, we do have enough. We're going to win anyways. I didn't realize how much time was left. But yeah, that's a win. That was definitely a really good game. That game was awesome. Really close and against really good teams. And we were able to still maintain our huge win streak. That's a huge dub. Sorry for the kind of low energy commentary. But that was a huge game for us. It's like our 50th straight win or something. I don't even know at this point. That was an awesome game. And let's get into our fourth and final game here. So here we go into the fourth game. This is going to be our fourth and final game. We're going to be facing two tanks and a Nito. Now that's going to be super tough as a penny. Now our Pam should just absolutely shred into them. But as a penny, it's going to be tough. We're definitely going to try and line people up and hit some collateral shots and definitely do some helping. But it's going to be really hard for us to 1v1 brawlers like Bull or Frank. So here we go against the Nita. We were able to hit a collateral already. I'm going to put down a turret right over here. Get a few snipes in, hopefully. Hopefully we can just chain turrets. They do have pretty... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we already got our next turret back. Oh, how do you get over there? What? No, I thought it was on the other side of the wall. Oh my god, I'm going to go down now because of that. Wow, that was a big misplay by me. Oh, Penny Turret saving us. Penny Turret's so OP, it's so broken. So here we go up again. The Nita, maybe he's going to jump. Oh, the jumping Nita. All right, we were able to absolutely obliterate that Nita due to the piercing damage of Penny. Now we're going to put this over here. Yep, it's going to break the wall, hopefully. There we go. Hopefully none of us get hit by that. Perfect. We're doing, we have a big push going so far. I don't know if it's going to be able to end it, though. Yeah, we weren't able to end the game. Let's see if we can figure something out here. Perhaps sneak to the side with the penny and try and get a penny turret off? I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Do a big sneak to the side. Penny turret's going to start shooting the safe. I think the bull just noticed it. We're going to go in over here. Hopefully hit some shots. There we go. We did some damage. 
We did a pretty good amount of damage, actually. I think we can go in one more, and if we hit three shots, we will be able to kill it. That's also something that you guys should be able to pick up. Pick up on is... Oh my god, the Wi-Fi, please. Please, no Wi-Fi. Whatever, we're gonna win the game anyways, but Wi-Fi not OP. But as I was saying, that's something you guys should definitely be able to pick up on, is the fact that you can do damage to the, say, or to the Ike without having a robot. And you should know how much damage about each Thrawler can do at your level, so you can fully effectively be able to get those final pushes if you need it instead of losing a game. But with that being said, I just got my penny to 800. We've shown you guys four great games, and that's gonna be it today. This is the main comp. This is how to win every single game on this map. We're on a huge, like, 55 game win streak. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys are doing. I'm loving the support. We're growing like crazy, and yeah, thank you so much, guys. See you guys tomorrow.